This is a review for the uh, short story A Decade by Ha Jin. Um, this is a picture of Chairman Mao. He was the leader of the uh, Communist Revolution in China. Uh, it's also called the Cultural Revolution because it really uh, did reform the culture of China um, and, and completely changed the way uh, the Chinese viewed each other. So I just want to start with a quick overview of the story. Uh, the story A Decade is about the speaker, Aina. Uh, she reflects on her childhood. Uh, she visits the place where she went to school, and she decides to visit uh, her old teacher, Zhou Enlai. Um, and she reflects back on, you know, what happened when she was at school with this teacher. Um, and she says she doesn't feel sorry about it. You know, it doesn't, she doesn't worry about what happened to her teacher. You know, a lot of people were sent away, and that's very indicative of, of what was happening to people during the Cultural Revolution in China. They were sent to the retraining camps, you know, to, for hard labor so that way they could learn to be good Chinese people and, and learn to exist in the new society. Um, so she says, I didn't, I don't feel guilty about what happened. I didn't feel guilty. Um, she's visiting this old town. She's thinking about where she went to go to school. Um, you know, none of the kids who she went to school with are there anymore except for one guy and they, he barely remembers her. Um, so this is a story of reflection. Um, Aina is telling the story of when she was a child. And the story revolves around this teacher, Zhou Wenlai, um, and what happens with uh, Wenlai. Um, so we note almost immediately that Aina has this kind of um, looking up to Wenlai. You know, she's, she's beautiful, she's graceful, she's got these lovely arms. Um, we know that Wenlai wasn't the best singer, she had a very delicate voice. Um, but man, could she dance, and Aina envies her dancing ability, um, and she says she'd love to watch her dance. So we know Wenlai probably has some training, if she is from a capitalist family, she probably has some dance training in her background. Uh, we know she's very delicate and graceful. Um, at one point in time, she's singing a, a song which is not uh, in line with the communist values after the revolution, and uh, Aina, our speaker, tells us her friend, who's a loudmouth, um, probably goes and tattles on one lie because one lie gets, you know, very sad and from then on only ever sings, you know, these revolutionary booming songs. Um, but she's made fun of because she can't sing them with a booming voice because she has a very little delicate voice. Um, there's a question of this affair uh, with Mao Jen, um, and we're not really sure what happens. We know that she has this appendix surgery and she shows Jan the scar, uh, but we don't really know that they have an affair. Um, Aina implies that they had a love affair, um, and later on in the story she goes back to say that's not the case, nothing ever happened between the two of them. Uh, he moves to Hong Kong later on. Um, well, he's sent to a work camp, and then he, when he comes back, he moves to Hong Kong. Um, so, again, you know, Aina, they're, they're 10 years old, roughly, um, so there is a question of how much they are actually aware of. You know, he kisses her scar. You know, what kind of people take down their pants so you can kiss a scar? So there's that kind of question of what actually happens there. And if uh, Miao Jen and uh, Zhou and Mai are punished unnecessarily and unfairly. Um, and we know they are because the kids go marching to this propaganda committee. Uh, and I think it's incredibly interesting that this propaganda committee, it says, is made up of illiterate men. So these men can't read the propaganda that they're putting out, but they are putting out propaganda. Um, and it's usually a, a telltale sign of, of a good propagandist. Um, they're not usually incredibly educated because they just spew the party line. Um, and again, this, this really becomes uh, important when Wen Lai is explaining to her students, no, they're not literally, literally dirt. This is just a metaphor. Um, and her students rebel and say, no, they are dirty. You can't twist, or, twist around the words with the chairman Mao. Um, so there is this question of propaganda and what it actually means. Um, Jian is sent um, to a work camp. And we know like, seven years after he returns, uh, he goes to Hong Kong. Um, we know Wen Lai is sent off to a work camp. And again, thinking of this little delicate woman doing hard labor for years, it's a little bit disturbing. You know, when she took over the class, she was harassed. You know, the boys would unbuckle their belts at her and uh, really just try to make her uncomfortable. 
So as a reader, we're supposed to feel for Wen Lai. We're supposed to look at Zhou Wen Lai and say, what happened to her isn't right. Um, granted, they probably shouldn't have been doing what they were doing in school, um, but she ends up doing hard labor because she, quote unquote, twists the words of the chairman Mao. Um, so our final outcome of the story is Ana sees the new Wen Lai. She goes to her house to bring her, uh, you know, thank you gift and, and say hello. And she sees Wen Lai and she says, if I didn't, if I hadn't have heard her name, I wouldn't have recognized her, because Wen Lai has become this fat, violent woman, um, you know, clearly willing to beat the snot out of somebody over a, a single egg. Um, so we can tell a lot has happened to Wen Lai and she's clearly changed. You know, she is a mother. But we don't associate her motherhood with um, this kind of cuddly, warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, and Ina doesn't say hello to her. She ends up leaving with this very sick feeling. And she says, you know, I, I felt it in my gut. I felt sick to my stomach. Um, so just in summation, you know, we have this story told by Ina uh, reflecting on her childhood and what happened to her teacher as a result of her childish uh, behaviors. Um, because Aina was so childish and she didn't understand what was happening uh, when Maya ended up losing her innocence and becoming this very uh, coarse and hostile woman. So really the story is a tragedy um, because it tells how the Cultural Revolution really destroyed the souls of some of these people and uh, Aina notes that people were being taken away left and right and so it wasn't odd to her that Wenlai was taken. So again, this is the story of, of punishment and suffering under the cultural revolution. All right, there you go. That is your story of a decade by Ha Jin.